Okay, got another quick one for tonight. This is uh, scheduling and unscheduling content with Drupal. Uh, you need to schedule content, or you may need to schedule content if you got a blog and you got to you want to keep content fresh without having to do um, something every day or something at a certain time every day. Um, Tumblr's got this feature. Uh, a lot of sites got these features. It's great. Um, great content. Set the time you want it to go at, and if you've got your cron jobs configured correctly, which you should. Um, then you're good. Um, go to our modules and I'll show you what we need. Um, first and foremost, to do this one, we need a hey, scheduler. This guy's awesome. This module is great. Um, it's it's done wonders. Second thing you need is the date. Date, date API, date pop-up. Uh, date repeat API. You really don't need all of them, but really just the date API date and date pop up. But um, not just enable them. Uh, and then user interface. You need JavaScript tools. These uh, another thing that that their page that the development page said. But um, I don't know why. But I'm not I'm not a true developer, so I don't know. So uh, the second thing you need to do once you got that enabled um, in site configuration, you'll see there's a scheduler module settings and this is really just for your date format and that's it and then also what kind of field do you want field type you want to use um, the standard text or the date pop-up field I like the date pop-up field you may like the standard text especially if you got a rule or something like that going on um, so I'm gonna go to my content type and kind of show you where you edit that at you go over here in your content type to edit and then once you enable that oh hey there's a menu option for scheduler settings um, and I've got mine currently set to enable schedule publishing and then alter the published on time. Now the altered published on time or alter the published on time is for changing the time that you created the node to match the time that is scheduled to be posted. Um, this is a good thing to do when you are when you create a view. Uh, you create a view that says, "Hey, list these items in the order that they were published." But if you don't check that and you've got scheduled publishing, they're going to be in your in swapped order. So, and you can make it required. You can make it as new revision uh, when you publish all that kind of stuff. But I'm just going to go ahead and enable schedule publishing the publish on time and enable scheduled unpublishing. So you can see that, even though I have no desire to unpublish right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and create a picture uh, to be published. And we're going to call it picture future. Browse this guy and do that one. Now, in our menu options, we've got scheduling options. Hey, there it is. So I'm going to publish on, and then I'm going to choose today's date. And then when you go into this box and hit up or down, it chooses the exact time that it is right now. So I'm going to go ahead and set this for one minute in the future. And you always have to set a future date. Don't forget that. Otherwise, there's no point to it. Um, I uh, didn't like that. Wasn't far enough in the future. Oh. That's odd. I got my locale and date time settings off. Um, so I'll go ahead and save that. And then this is why date is important. Um, go into my date and time. Set my time zone. And I'm currently at America Chicago. Uh, disable that in the first day of like Sunday, save so configuration. Content, a picture for the future, and it's not published yet. Oh. I'm going to go back to these. There we go. Now the format looks correct. So it's the 17th. I'm going to clear this out. There we go. So 
We're going to set it for one minute in the future. There we go. So this pub this post is unpublished. Now, if you look when I when I saved it, the published was checked in there. Believe me, uh, and the promoted front page was checked. But on save, it unchecked the published for me, so you don't have to you don't have to leave stuff unpublished automatically. You can you can set it to published, and then it'll automatically do it. Um, so there we go. There's my view. Uh, there's my picture. Looks pretty. It's actually not my picture. It's a picture somebody else drew, but it was an awesome picture. Uh, so I decided to use it. Let's go now. I'm going to go to my reports. Well, let's show you this. There's my front front page. You know the other, if you'll note it was set to go to my front page, but it's not there yet. Um, it will show up here in a minute as long as my cron runs. And I don't have it run. I don't have it run uh, automatically. So I just run it manually for right now. Um, let's refresh it, see if we've been far enough in the future. And it doesn't look like we have been far enough in the future yet. There we go. Now we're in the future. Now we're in. Our, our time has passed. Our cron has run. Um, your cron, I run mine every hour, and so it'll just update content. So if you get it within the hour or whatever, it'll publish it. But our content is published. It's there. Uh, if I have scheduled to unpublish, it'll unpublish. But um, it's just a really cool way to schedule the content, post it when you want, do cool stuff with it. So hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know if you have any comments or questions. Thanks.